What up, brother Jones here? We got a 7-3 Kyrie Irving, man. In the comment section of the Steph Curry one, I saw a lot of 7-3 Kyrie. So we got a 7-3 Kyrie. Now he is left-handed. I know I saw a lot of comments. My stretch big, the stretch big on VC Goblin is left-handed. I ain't got time to make another one. <laughs> so just to just to make him right-handed. So y'all gonna have to ignore the fact that he's left-handed. But we about to be out here killing. I'm out here breaking shots early. As you know, that's always a good sign. But he kind of looked like Kyrie, man. If Kyrie was 7-3, man, he'd be a demigod, bro. He'd be a demigod. Because Kyrie already cold, bro. He already cold and got the moves. He just ain't really... He ain't the tallest guy. I think, what, he like 6'2"? So if Kyrie had the height with him, he dominate. He dominates. Y'all about to see some clips. Make sure y'all hit that like button for your boy if you want more. And let me know what other NBA players and what heights y'all want to see. Y'all want to see a 7-foot Russell Westbrook. Y'all want to see a big MJ. Y'all want to see a tiny KD. Put it in the comment section right now, man. And I just might do it, bro. I just might do it. All right, we got a 7-3 Kyrie Irving, man. We got the people we going against. But we got a 7-3 Kyrie We not really phased with the comp, man. Now I'm on my boy VC Goblin account once again because he got the bad dog stretch five and i ain't got time i've been i've been busy with my other players so i ain't got time to grind mine but the jump shot in this video is the jump shot from the last video i just uploaded so if you want to know what the jump shot is don't even ask bro just go to, just click on my channel and go to the last one i uploaded now you see Kyrie with the first three Kyrie can't be stopped, but look at look at look how OP the stretch five is, low key. If you know what you're doing, look look at look at all this cheese, bro. Literally weaving through the traffic, just like Kyrie would do. Literally just like Kyrie would do. They slack they slacking, so I hit Quizzy with an open dunk. You know how that go. Now you know a big Kyrie got to score. Big Kyrie got to score because little Kyrie scores. Strong, you see that hit the green off rip. Hit the green off of like nobody even there. Cause basically seven threes don't even get contested really like that, man. Stretch bigs in this game are literally like superstars, bro. Like they can't be really messed with. You can't really mess with stretch bigs like that unless you got a lockdown. And with this build, lockdowns don't even bother me. Oh, look at this, bro. I missed the shot. I missed a little easy shot, but it don't make me no difference. Quizzy get the rebound and I yep. <laughs> yep, we take it right back up. Kyrie don't hit all his shots either, but he a volume shooter, so so are we. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie a little volume shooter. He he little do little iso ball. So I'm trying to do the best I can to imitate it in a big form. Up, oh, got another three. Strop, cash. Once again, y'all know what stretch bigs take no skill, so you don't even gotta green them joints. You don't even <laughs> gotta green them. I ain't never said stretch big take skill, bro. If it's a stretch big bragging about he's just, he's so OP, best player on 2K, y'all need to, you know what I'm saying, hold on. Because it's not that hard to play with it. Look at it, I'm not even greening, bro. I'm not even greening. Kyrie throwing a white releases like he do IRL. Y'all know Kyrie be throwing up them little white, heavily contested releases, and they go in somehow. They somehow be going in. He make the mugs work, though. Now, I would have did post fades and all that, but I ain't got time to be testing that out. I ain't even got difficult shots on this player, so I'm just literally just doing what I know that's gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Kyrie Irving and dropped 20, bro. He ain't dropped 20 on the whole team, man. No, with with low ball control, easily dropping people. Now we're gonna get some twos gameplay. We're gonna get some quick little twos gameplay, because you know it's even easier on the twos. It's even easier on the twos and the threes because look at where I'm going against, bro. I got a little baby on me. What the, what this little guard gonna do on a 7-3? I don't even see him, bro. I literally don't even see him. Look at this. Strop! Easy greens. I don't see no guards on my 7-3 Kyrie. Like, seven little guards can't do nothing with me. Look at it. He don't know what to do. He just, hey, I got it. I contested it. No, he get it. Exactly. Exactly. Look at this cheese, bro. Now I got takeover. Y'all already know game almost over when you get takeover because you don't have to green no more. And you see, I hit a green. But you don't have to really green no more. All you have to do is just get a good release, a good open release. Sometimes not, you ain't even got to be open. Sometimes you hit it anyway. Look at that. I'm over trying to hit him with the little Kyrie jab in his face. He over fouling. The kid over it. Look at it. He don't know what to do. Look, what is he doing? What are you doing, bruh? Dude, Lily over here don't know how to guard a 7-3, bruh. Just rip, bruh. If I was him, if I was the other guy, I'd literally just try to rip him. That's literally what I do. Oh, but, th but then that happens. <laughs> and then that happens though. Just shoot right over him like he ain't even there. 
That's what stretch bigs do. They shoot over people and they piss everyone off. This is the why the reason why everybody is a stretch big in this game. You run twos, you're gonna go against one of these, but not a seven three because that's rare. But you'll go against a seven foot stretch all the time. Now he got a steal off me because he was spamming square, so that's why I'm cold. He got a steal. I mean, you spam square enough times on the center, he gonna rip it, bro. Eventually. So now I said, let me get ISO. Let me get a little ISO, get cooked with no moves, with 40 speed, actually 30 speed. Yeah, get cooked with 30 speed with ball. So we get another game with Quizzy, man. And Quizzy's an OP little rim protector, man. He gets the steals all the time. So he gonna make Kyrie job easy. You just give Kyrie the ball, and I'm gonna chuck 20 shots. Cause we all know Kyrie secretly thinks he's Kobe Bryant. He left LeBron because he got the Kobe Bryant mindset. He wanna be the leader. He want to be the big chief, you know what I'm saying? He want to take all the shots. He ain't trying to be LeBron's little second tier little buddy. He want to, you know what I'm saying? He want to be the number one op. So he left. And um, they, got a, they got a chance. They can get past Toronto. Toronto looking kind of nice. Let me know what y'all think about that. For people that actually watch basketball, who making it out of the East? You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of sub that don't even watch basketball, but I do got something to do. Who making it out the East? Put it in the comment section right now. Who you think making it out the East? My, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Toronto, bro. I'm gonna say Toronto. I, I just think, I don't know. They got something going on, bro. They got something going on a little bit more than Boston right now. That's just my opinion. And you see, we out here harassing them and just trying to get the ball. Want to end the game? Quizzy shoots the three. I get the board. Big Kyrie snagging. Take it right back up. So I, I got seven on him. We, we need more points though. We, need, Kyrie needs more points, man. He ain't have. He look at the scoreboard. He like, I need a little bit more buckets. Now nah, we get that, miss it. Bro, I almost did Uncle Drew, I ain't gonna lie. I almost made a 7-3 Uncle Drew. I don't know if I should, I don't know. Cause Kyrie and Uncle Drew go together, man. You can't have one without the other. You know what I'm saying? So I, I thought about doing Uncle Drew too. But we out here, I gotta take over. You know what time it is when I get takeover, bro. You know what time it is when any stretch get takeover. The game is over. The game is over. So we get it. I'm ready, ready for the ball. Dude's over here trying to find a way to guard me. He jumps. That's game, baby. <laughs> That's game every time. You cannot jump on the perimeter. I don't understand people that jump on the perimeter. What Are you trying to block the three? There is no reason you should ever jump on the perimeter. Ever. You will not block the shot. I don't understand when people do that. But in the comments also, let me know what y'all want to see next, man. I'm gonna let the gameplay ride out. Y'all can watch the rest of the gameplay. Just me and Quizzy just basically just playing with this team, man. You know, just 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 another easy dubs, bro. It's not that hard with a 7-3 stretch, man. It's literally cheese. I actually, the funny part about this gameplay, I went against a 7-3 stretch. So I'm like, oh shoot, okay, people seeing you know, some people starting to get hip low-key. But he was like a shot creating one, so he's a little bit different, but. Let me know what y'all think about the Stress 3 build and what build y'all want to see me do next. Like, NBA player, man. I like these. I want to keep them going. They fun. So let me know what y'all think today's video. I'll see y'all then, man. Peace.